Imagine if you had a closet full of clothing that actually worked for you. Basically, everything in that closet would be easy to find, easy to match, and every outfit you put together would look amazing. In today's video, gents, I'm going to teach you how to build your interchangeable wardrobe, how to build a collection of clothing that serves to enhance your skills and experience by arming you with the image to get the job done. So the basic concept of the interchangeable wardrobe is that you can have less clothing and get more outfits. How does that work? Basic math. So if you have four pairs of shoes, if you have four shirts, if you have four pairs of trousers and you have four jackets, 16 pieces of clothing, but if they're 100% interchangeable, you have a total of 200 and 56 outfits. Gentlemen, that's enough clothing that you could wear a different outfit every day for almost nine months. Now let's talk about the advantages of the interchangeable wardrobe. First up, you're going to own less. You're going to have a wardrobe. You're going to have a closet. You'll be able to walk into and actually find things. How many of you guys walk into your closet and you've got tons of clothing, but you have nothing to wear? Gents, if that's you, you're going to love the interchangeable wardrobe because it gets rid of that problem. The next advantage of the interchangeable wardrobe, you're going to spend less time and energy thinking about what you're going to wear. And guys, your thought process, the energy that goes into you thinking throughout the day is limited. It's like a glass of water. Once you take enough drinks, it is gone for the day. So why waste it on something like, what are you going to wear that morning? Going through that hassle, not being able to find things, not being able to put things together. Guys, with the interchangeable wardrobe, all of a sudden you're able to save the energy for decisions that matter. Next up, you're going to save money by purchasing less and what you do buy, you're actually going to use. Now, this next advantage kind of contradicts the last one, and that is if you so choose, you can now spend more money on the fewer pieces you're buying. So, because you're buying less, you can take that money you saved and you can spend more and buy higher quality pieces. Now, hold up. Before we go farther, you need to do your homework. You need to make sure that this style philosophy is good for you. The interchangeable wardrobe only works if you're cool with these three things. Now, first up, let's talk about uniforms. When some people think of uniform, they think boring, they think stifling, lack of creativity. Nothing could be further from the case. You look at the most successful people out there. Yes, someone like Mark Zuckerberg, who has a very casual uniform. Or you look at someone like Larry Ellison, who has a more of a formal uniform. The key is they're crafting the message. They know that what message they want to send to the world and they're letting their clothing do that. They don't want to spend time actually piecing together, you know, what am I going to wear with this? No, they would rather go out there and change the world. So, if you're starting a nonprofit, if you're starting a consulting company, doesn't matter. If you want to have a uniform, a consistent message you send the world, then this philosophy is probably for you. Next up, you've got to be cool with figuring out your personal style. You've got to take a step back and you've got to examine what are my needs and what are my wants and balancing it all out. So, let's talk about your needs. So, first up, environmental needs. Are you up in northern Wisconsin? Are you down in southern Texas? Understand, different places in the world are going to have different environmental needs. This is going to affect the fabric weights and the type of clothing you buy. Next up, let's talk about your profession. What's the message you're expected to send? Are you a lawyer over in London or are you in the entertainment industry in LA? Think about what image do you want to send with your profession? The final need is going to be your body type. Are you a large guy and you want to balance out your proportions? Are you a smaller guy and you want to build up your shoulders? And let's look at your colors. So, do you have a very dark complexion? Do you have a very light complexion? All this is going to go into the clothing you choose for your interchangeable wardrobe. Now, let's talk about personal style and your wants. So, with that comes your personal taste. For me, I love olive green. You're going to see that a lot in my wardrobe. And then you've got your vision of the man who you are going to become. So, you dress for your current position, but you can add flair, you can add small details, and you can change it up a bit in the direction of the successful gentleman that you know you're going to be in 5, 10, 15 years. Now, really quick, gents, before we get too far into this video, if you like it, give it a like. And if you're new to Real Men Real Style, I'd like you to subscribe. Become part of our community, guys, and click on that notification bell so you get the notifications when these new videos come out. So, now let's get into the four main categories of the interchangeable wardrobe. We're talking about shirts, trousers, jackets, and shoes. So, throughout this, I'm using myself as an example. Now, I know I dress probably a little bit more formal than most people out there, although some of you guys dress at a much higher level, but most people are going to dress a bit more casual. What you want to do is I'm talking through this and I'm going through, think about, okay, how can I bring in a casual piece that's similar? So, starting off with our shirts, we want to go with our foundational pieces. These are going to be the white dress shirts, the light blue dress shirt, the medium blue dress shirt, and then bringing in patterns such as stripes, maybe going with a darker blue. 
Now I've only talked about two colors. Now when you stick with blues and whites in your shirts, the advantage here is it's going to work with a wide variety of other color palettes in the other pieces of clothing when it comes to jackets, trousers and your shoes. When it comes to your t-shirts, go with that solid white, go with that black. What you don't want to do is introduce a shirt that is loud, that just stands out because that's not going to be very interchangeable. Now what about the style of the shirts? Okay, again this goes back to what's going to be the total formality of the outfits you're creating and what uniform do you want to present. So if you are a more formal style, then you're probably going to go with mostly collared shirts. If you have a more casual style, then you're probably going to go maybe with polos, you're going to go with t-shirts, that's going to suit everything else we're going to talk about. Now let's talk about your interchangeable wardrobe and trousers and I'm going to include jeans here. Dark colored jeans work in my interchangeable wardrobe. I pull them off a lot simply because of my lifestyle and I like the way that they work with a sports jacket and even dress shirts. But some of you guys are going to find, okay, I'm more of a gray guy. I'm going to go for a number of different types of slacks, maybe even gray flannels. Browns are going to work for a lot of you guys. The great part about this is all the shirts we just talked about sticking with that color palette are going to work with these type of trousers. And getting to the style of the trousers, again, that depends depends on the formality. So if you're going for an ultra formal look, oftentimes these trousers are going to match with your jacket because you're going to be wearing suits. But if you're going for maybe a business casual, me, I live in a small town in Wisconsin, I occasionally will go do business in Chicago, well I'm going to have those dark colored jeans and if I need to dress it up, I can go for gray flannels or a pair of gray slacks. Now let's talk about jackets. So if you have a jacket with matching trousers, that's a suit. But if you have a jacket and it doesn't have matching trousers, most likely that's a sports jacket. And I have a wide variety of sports jackets you see in my wardrobe. What I like about that is it works with all the colored trousers I just talked about and works with those shirts as well. Now I know a lot of you guys are not into suit jackets or sports jackets, so what can you do? Well you can opt not to bring a jacket into the interchangeable wardrobe. I really think it detracts from it, so I would look at a wide range of different categories casual jackets like the jean jacket or you want to bring in a leather jacket, a wide range of different jackets out there. Find what works for your particular environment, the message you want to send and the great thing about a jacket, you can always take it off. But guys, I do think bringing in a jacket gives you a lot more options with the interchangeable wardrobe. Now let's talk about shoes and the interchangeable wardrobe. I left this for last because for me when I buy shoes, I make sure they match my other pieces. For me, I'm going with dark brown in the vast majority of my shoes. Just brown is one of my colors. I simply like it. Uh, black, I kind of stay away from, although I will bring in grays or oxblood. And if you love black as a shoe, you should look at oxblood. You should look at grays. That's going to go with a lot of the outfits you're already putting together. So when it comes to casual shoes, this right here, I like it. It's got, the, you notice the dark brown in here. And what I like about when you get something that has a little bit of a color in it, if it matches the dark brown, you can pretty much be sure it's going to match brown in your outfits. So I could wear this with a pair of brown chinos. I could wear this with a nice button down white or light blue shirt. Maybe even throw a casual jacket. This pair right here, the style really sets this apart. And I didn't get in the style too much, but understand, okay, do you have a casual look or do you have a more formal look? What I like about this, I can dress them up, I can dress them down. Now I can't really wear them with a black tie, but I can wear them, I think, with a lot of suits. They've got a great look, very stylish. And when it comes down to shoes and practicality with the interchangeable work, wardrobe, I have to admit, I go to boots quite often simply because they're going to work whether it's raining, whether it's snowing. Even if I've got nice weather, I find that I'm going to wear boots like this probably about 80 to 90 percent of the time. I can wear them with a pair of jeans. I can wear them with a sports jacket. I can wear them with a dress shirt. They look good. So what about everything else? What about your outerwear? What about your headwear? What about accessories? What about socks, underwear, undershirts? So when it comes to the interchangeable wardrobe, I stay focused on the four main pieces. Beyond that, I do have fun. So when it comes to accessories, pocket squares, when it comes to neckties, watches, things like this, I like to bring in color. I like to bring in a little bit of flash. I like to bring in a little bit of spice and that's how I treat it. So where to get started? First, you want to evaluate your current wardrobe. Go through and identify pieces which can build the base of your interchangeable wardrobe. Second, you want to identify pieces that you're missing that are going to be leveraged pieces. And by that I mean, okay, so let's look at the interchangeable wardrobe. If you've got plenty of shirts, you've got plenty of trousers, and you've got plenty of jackets, but you've only got one pair of shoes that you pretty much wear almost all the time. Right here, we've got a piece that we can leverage. You could bring in two to three more pairs, which are going to work with all those other jackets and shirts and trousers that you have. And all of a sudden, you're going to leverage up your interchangeable wardrobe and you're going to create a lot more outfits with just a few pieces. And the next thing you want to do to get started, practice putting these outfits together. It's not that you can just watch a video and 
and get an idea and, oh, I know what I'm going to do. No, you want to go put these pieces together. You're going to find that, okay, I really like these shoes and I'm not sure how they're going to work. So, try it. Look at yourself in the mirror. You may find, you know what, Antonio? I think I can wear these with a sports jacket and a pair of jeans and all the more power to you if you can pull this look off with confidence. But the only way to have that confidence is to practice wearing these pieces together. Okay, so where to go from here? Guys, I've got you covered over at Real Men Real Style. I'm linking to my website down in the description. We're talking tons of free ebooks when it comes to watches, when it comes to dressing casually, when it comes to understanding shoes. I know I throw out a lot of terminology. Guess what? I've got a free style dictionary that you can download. You can. It's got an audio component to it, guys. It's free. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments what you think of this video. A little bit different, but I want to get back to the basics, the foundation of dressing well. So, hopefully, you found this video interesting, you learned something new and I'm going to be doing a whole series on this if you guys are interested. So, let me know down in the comments and guys, go check out this video right here, style rules that every man needs to know. I've got you covered, put together these great videos and of course, I always link to them down in the description. So, guys, go check out this video, go learn more, go become the man you know yourself to be. That's it. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.